the Patterdale Terrier is the world premier digging dog. No other breed of dog is as reliable when it comes to locating, fitting, and staying till dug. This is a breed of dog that was created with one very specific job in mind. And that is to keep quarry still so that it can be dug too. This is a task that is easier said than done. Many terriers simply will not make the grade for serious diggers. When it comes to maintaining or improving the working abilities of any breed of dog, quality follows ethics and principles. Ethics and principles, affect quality. When ethics and principles start to fall, quality is sure to follow in suit. Historically, there has always been two perspectives in the dog community. One perspective, believes form follows function. The other believes, function follows form. We believe the first mentioned. That is, form follows function. To maintain, or improve a working breed, you must use them for the purpose intended. Countless numbers of breeds have been ruined by failing to acknowledge this unequivocal fact, while the fact of the matter remains, there are many forms of work for a dog to do. The fact also remains, no job can substitute for the next. You cannot, only work your dogs to rats, and expect them to consistently deal with heavier game. You cannot, only work your dogs above ground and expect the family to be great earth dogs. You cannot, only do weight pulling with your terriers and expect the family to excel as digging dogs. We get people that contact us all the time wanting to get a dog from us to help out with a rat issue. Our response is getting one of our dogs to help with a personal rat issue is like guying a NASCAR to go to the grocery store. This being the case, if the breed is to continue to thrive, it is important that most of them end up in homes that will dig to them. You see, this breed of dog is different than other breeds, in that the job that they do is what defines them as a breed. It is literally, what makes them a breed. The job of the breed is to locate, enter and fit, and last but not least stay until dug. So, what does this mean for a breed that is defined by their job? Some people are not aware that working a terrier above ground is not a substitute for digging them. Many terriers will act far braver in front of quarry, so long as they have sun on their backs. Many baying terriers will latch onto their quarry once the hunter breaks through the tube. I bring this up because many people watch their dogs work above ground, and assume their dog could be a successful digging dog. So again it is important that the majority of the breed ends up in the hands of people that are going to dig them. As once they are no longer being dug they will literally cease to exist. We've seen lines of these dogs begin to lessen in quality because they are not being dug to and tested as they should be. In 1999 when we got our first dog from Mason of Tennessee the dogs were harder dogs, more geared towards hunting, and deeply game. However, when we returned in 2012 to the Terriers we were stunned by the low quality of dogs we were running into. We were spending between $300 to $800 on Terriers trying to find some good workers. We bow pups to raise them out, as well as dogs that were supposed to be schooled out and masters at their job. We went through a lot of different lines from different breeders prior to set tingling into the dogs that we have today. The dogs we were getting were either not hard enough to keep the game still in the areas that we have to dig, mind you we have some large open sets, or some of the dogs we obtained wouldn't hunt at all, others would hunt but not enter. It was clear to us a lot of these breeders are not working slash testing their dogs. Some flat out lie claiming certain terriers are excellent working stock but the terrier has never looked through a bellman and flint collar, and their owners act if they are allergic to picking up and shovel and digging. If the dogs were being used for the job, they would produce higher percentages within their litters. If the breeders only bred to the successful digging dogs they own the breed would continue to go in the right direction. While there are in fact plenty of Americans digging their dogs, the truth of the matter is most Americans do not dig their dogs. Yet and still a lot of these men and women will still breed their dogs. And so, sadly, the quality of dogs will continue to drop overall unless you are on the inner circle of people who dig their dogs already. I always warn newcomers to these dogs. If you are serious about getting a legit digging dog, do not get a dog, puppy or otherwise from anyone that cannot show you multiple pictures of their dogs being dug. They should also be able to explain the use of a location collar, as well they should be able to direct you where to get your own as you will need it if you are going to dig terriers. We hope you've enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe button. Until next time it's 3xo.